Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix PS4 error code NP349589, which is happening for many of the users. We have already done a video on this. This is actually an updated method where you can try this out. Just follow all the steps in this video. That's going to definitely going to work this out. One of the view com uh, viewer commented, and we tried this out. This is working for you for you sure. So you can try this out. The first thing what you need to do is when you're having this is you just need to follow the same instruction as over here you need to connect your ps4 to your mobile hotspot and that's what we have to do for that we just need to go over here in the settings over here you have to go to settings now from here you just need to go to over here in the network over there you just need to click on the network and connect to the internet which means you have to disconnect your wi-fi which is already using then try connecting to the mobile hotspot and once you're done with this one you can try this out and most probably when you do this up this has to be worked so if this is not working once after that you just need to go back to the account management now from there you just need to navigate to activate as your primary ps4 just click on this one and you need to activate your ps4 as the primary which is going to take a little bit of time just click on the activate that's going to take a little bit of time and once after that you just need to once it's activated you can try out and if that's not going to work, we need to move to the next step. Just try with the activate and that's what you have to do. Most probably this has to be worked or else the next one is restore the license. That's what we have to do. For restoring the license over here, you can see that just click on the restore license over there. Now from here, once you tap on the restore license, then just follow the instructions as we are instructing once after that. So just click on the restore license and you get the message for restore it. Once again, click on that one over there on the restore. As you can see, the license is restored and most probably when you try these three steps, most probably the issue regarding this one has to be fixed. And this is what we have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.